Fun fact, both of these Pixar movies feature the voice of a beloved character from Ghostbusters 1, 2, and the reboot. I'm Sigourney Weaver. The movie starts off with a friendly game of hide and seek. Do you want to play hide and seek? Woody, hide! And then it takes a dark turn when one of the main character risks their life to save a friend. Karma makes absolutely no sense because in return, the main character gets kidnapped and separated from their loved ones. When the kidnapped character gets to the new house, pieces of his or her memory starts coming back little by little. Afterwards, the human character does something to the main character's right arm and it freaks him or her out. Since the main character is a friend in need, their friends rush to save them before it's too late. The friends end up at the gift store. This sucks because the gift store is across from the building where their friend is being held. During this part of the movie, the main characters drive around in a car and despite being out in the open, no human beings see them. The human beings in this movie don't notice anything actually. Prime example, there's a part where the characters are roaming around and eavesdrops on one of the workers phone calls. The human doesn't notice them because because. The only person that's actually paying attention is the character with the T-800 vision. The red vision allows this character to see things other people would miss. Meanwhile, the one that got kidnapped now has two options. Either go back home to be with the loved ones or stay and end up on display where children could come to watch the exhibit anytime, every day. You'll be adored by children for generations. The kidnapped characters are like, forget that. And when the character tries to run away through the vent in the metal ducks, the characters make a left, a right, a right, and then a left again, and then they're reunited. After the reunion, there's an attack of the clone scene where the characters look the same. The film gets all climactic and whatnot when some of the characters get trapped in a box by humans. Part of the group gets packaged to get shipped for delivery to a new home. The other part of the group has a Star Wars Empire Strikes Back moment and is reunited with his or her father. And dad. I am your father. The car with the human in it is getting away, so the main character is still a truck. They flush the gas and start driving. Since the character controlling the gas pedal and the brake is too short to see past the steering wheel, one of the characters control the gas and the other takes care of the navigation. The main hero tries to convince the new friends to go and move in with the old friends, but one of them doesn't want to. It doesn't matter anyway because the new friends lose the debate and everyone is set free from their box and never makes it to the intended destination. When they're set free, they jump out the vehicle and immediately they almost die to death by getting ran over. They survive, however, so it shows they're fully capable of surviving on their own. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps>